Okay, I think we're live. So welcome everybody. This is day two of the training. Well, it's not connected to yesterday's training. It's separate training. Um, but yeah, welcome. Uh, my name's Kat Luckock. I'm the host of the Impact Entrepreneurs Club, this group, and it is so great to have you as part of this community. So thank you very much for joining. Um, if you haven't already uh, introduced yourself, then please do do that um, on a post or in the welcome post and just come and share who you are, what you do, why you do what you do and the impact that you create. It'd be really great to connect with you. This week I'm doing three trainings. Yesterday I did a training um, for social entrepreneurs on mindset. Today, this specific training is actually for coaches, consultants or those selling to social entrepreneurs and business owners um, and it's around aligned sales sales of align for your values so um, it is a bit more niche in terms of those people in this group but I thought it might be particularly helpful because I know there's a lot of coaches and consultants who are in this group because they're either following me wanting to like learn from how I'm doing it or just want to connect with other social entrepreneurs and learn more about the social entrepreneur space in itself because that's the kind of market they're operating in so that's great to have you and I wanted to do a training specifically for you where I'm sharing how I've developed and adapted an approach that I've learned from other um, coaches outside of our sector to um, an approach that works really well for me and my business, but really feels aligned to my values of openness, honesty, integrity, um, and transparency. Um, because I think that's really important for me, <laughs> but it's also really important for the sector that I'm operating in and the people that I want to work with. Okay. So if I'm not um, operating my business and not doing sales in a way that's aligned to me and my values and how and the people that I want to be working with and I'm not going to attract those people in right so I've created this um, successful sales formula which I want to share with you um, and also share with you the course that is linked to this which is kind of what we're kind of overviewing today but it's going to be a bit of training there's going to be some support you get to ask your questions and um, so let me just share the link to that course in the comments so you can check it out while we're talking or afterwards um so it'd be great to know because i can't see just yet i will be able to in a minute when i open up on my phone so just bear with me again um what's going on in the group so i might just have to come out and go back in bear with bear with bear with so are we on live i can't see myself yet live so if you are watching um, live then let me know that you're watching put a comment um, in and also if you're watching the replay you can post comments and questions and I will reply to those as well so I've just come off a very long call with my Thrive Society members and um, which was brilliant really exciting and um, but yeah I just need to kind of get into this headspace now having rushed my dinner a little bit so ah, oh, Joanne's here brilliant welcome Joanne I can actually see you on this um, but for some reason my phone hasn't opened it up yet so there we go got it open now let me just turn the sound down on that brilliant so if you're here and you're a coach you're a consultant or maybe you're a service-based business owner that's looking to increase your sales maybe you've got a bit of a sales funnel but it's just not working for you maybe you're just not um, attracting and securing enough of the clients that you need and want and um, I totally get that I've been there myself and I think it's really important that you have a system in your business to attract and convert customers and clients um, in a way that feels really easy, really aligned and really exciting. So that's what the successful sales formula is all about. It is based, as I said, on my new course for coaches and consultants with the same name because um, I couldn't think of anything different. But I wanted to share some of the key insights and summary of what's covered in the course so you know if it's a good fit for you and your business and decide whether you want to be part of it because it's only available um, for £197, which is crazy considering the amount of money you could make from the, um, implementing the, the teachings from this course. But I wanted to make it really accessible for this first cohort. It's something I've not shared in this way before. I have shared it with one-to-one -one clients um, and they've had success from implementing it. Um, but I haven't run it as a course and a program with group coaching before. Um, so I kind of wanted to test it out this way, which is why I'm kind of putting it at such a low price point, but also make it really easy for you to join. And even if 197 feels quite a lot, then there's also a monthly, three monthly payment plan as well, which makes it super affordable for you to join. Um, so I'd love to know for those that are watching, Joanne, Rianne, I think there's a couple of other people watching as well. Welcome, thanks very much for joining. Um, ah, Joanne's just finished with the client. Well done, congratulations, excellent. 
So how are you currently generating sales at the moment? Be great, whether you're watching on the replay or watching live with me now, um, how are you currently generating sales? What is What things do you do that you know kind of attracts and brings in clients? Um, and do you have a strategy for this or does it just happen, you know, do you feel like it just happens and you're lucky or you're not, um, or you're just not sure how to, to make this happen? So it'd be really helpful just to hear like where you're at in your business. How are you generating sales at the moment? Do you feel like it's consistent? Do you know the things that you do that actually make that happen? Or are you wanting more clarity on that? So if you can post in the comment, that will help and we can come back to some of those things in a minute. So I will go through some of the things that I see coaches and service-based businesses really struggling with when they're selling to social entrepreneurs, purpose-based business owners, or maybe even individuals, but in this space of kind of um, heart-centered businesses or support and therapies, whatever it is, um, you know, you're in this space for a particular reason because you have particular values and you have a, diff a particular approach to your business. And so even if you're not selling to businesses or social entrepreneurs, the, the process that I'm going to go through will be super helpful as well in terms of just identifying individual clients um, for your business. So Joanne's saying lives on Facebook, very good, but not being very, very, very regular at the moment. Fair enough. Okay, so some of the challenges I find coaches and service-based businesses find um, when sort of in their business generally is um, that then they don't really have the prices that they need to be able to reach the income goals that they want. So you'll have an income goal in your mind of what you want to achieve, but you won't necessarily have worked out how to achieve that income goal each month in terms of how many clients you need, or you're pricing yourself too low, which means you have to kind of have a significant amount of clients to actually reach a, a reasonable income goal that you want. And you know, you just don't have capacity because it's not just about delivering services to those clients, it's also about the time that it takes to running your business, or maybe you've got other services as well in your business. And so it's really about getting the prices right in the relation to the time you have and the number of clients you need to hit those income goals, as well as obviously being aligned to where you want to pitch your prices. But often I find that the price is the issue. Um that they have a sales approach. So either they don't have a sales approach at all, they're just kind of like, I hear this a lot, like just throwing spaghetti at the wall, like not really kind of um, having a sales strategy at all. Or maybe they have learned a sales approach from other coaches, from other industry experts, but it just doesn't feel very aligned or it just doesn't feel like it's really working for them um, because of that misalignment, because it might be like very pushy, it's not the kind of right values or it just doesn't feel like the right approach. You feel quite uncomfortable doing what you've been told to do. Um, and so, which is why I've kind of adapted and created this model that really works for me and I think would work for a lot of other people like you. The third thing is they design offers that don't really set you apart um, or meet your clients, your dream clients needs. So don't really have a clear idea of who they really wanna be working with and aren't ambitious enough really to kind of create bespoke tailor-made kind of um, offer for your dream clients that you can kind of set a premium price at but also just get really excited about but also having an offer that really speaks to what they need as a client and understanding what your clients needs and kind of being able to market it in that way fourthly and do let me know do any of these resonate do you kind of feel that these are yeah absolutely these are things that I kind of um, hear or feel in my business as well so the fourth one which is probably why you're here is you just don't feel like you're securing enough clients regularly enough to achieve your income goals. Classic challenge in lots of coaches businesses. And you're just not sure what you need to be doing differently to secure, attract and secure those additional clients or customers. OK, so maybe some of those are the challenges that you're facing is why you're on this training, which is absolutely brilliant because that's why I've created it. So I'd love to know before we get a bit further along, like what is your income goal? What is it that you're trying to achieve? I know when I promoted this course, this course, this training, that I was saying, you know, this course does actually help people reach five, 10 plus um, months. So if that's something that you're really trying to work towards, like increasing your regular income beyond 5K months, then this is absolutely going to help you to do that. Um, and how many clients do you actually need to secure each month to achieve this? So once you've got your income goal, have you worked out how many clients you actually need to have each month to achieve that income goal? And what does that look like? Does it feel realistic? You don't have to put this in the comments, but if you want to say, you know, those two things don't really add up 
or you know when I work it out I have to be doing a lot of work a lot of time and it doesn't really feel very sustainable I don't really have the capacity to maintain that month on month you put a one in the comments or if you feel like no actually I think I've got my pricing right and I think I've got the target right in terms of how many clients I need to be working with to reach that income goal then put a two in the comments and you can do that if you're watching the replay as well so what's your income goal and how many clients do you need to secure each month to achieve this? Hi, Sarah. Thanks very much for watching live. Um, and yeah, it'd just be really interesting to see in the comments that those two things. But what if you could attract ready to buy customers or clients who never question the price? So I know that for many people, the resistance in putting up their prices is this belief that there's nobody out there that would even dream of paying that much okay but the reality is there's always people out there to, who are willing to pay the prices that you need to set for your um offers um, and it's really about believing that fact and then identifying who those people are and going out and speaking to them rather than the other people who are constantly saying to you no we don't we're not going to pay that i don't want to pay that i don't have the money to pay that there is no point. One of the things I think which is really challenging in the coaching sector and also um, how people teach about selling like coaching services, consultancy services, service based offers is this pressure to kind of like convince and persuade. And these are all the things you need to do on a sales call to actually change people's perception to answer that response. So oh, I don't have um, money. Like if somebody doesn't have the money, they don't have the money. Right. It's I don't think it's very it, it's just a fact like if they don't have the money they don't have the money if they don't want to invest that amount of money then they're not ready what you really want to be focusing your attention on is those people that when they look at your offer and they know they want it they look at the price and they go brilliant that's so much value that's such an incredibly good value and, and good cost that i'm ready to buy you want people that are ready to buy your services without question and that the, the issue is not about money that maybe they just have a clarification or a question to ask you about how the process will work and um, you know what kind of support you'll provide them, what likely results, you know, what likely results have your other clients had, all of that should be on your sales page, but they just might want clarification about some of those things. So when you get on a sales call, or even just, you know, you're selling something, you don't, may not need to get on a sales call, but you're actually getting people who are ready to buy, who never question the price. My last two one-to-one um, -one clients for my 12-week program, uh, Lead With Impact, uh, yes, we had sales calls or actually the first one we didn't have a sales call at all. It was a post I put out. She messaged me on in our messenger and um, she asked me the price. She asked what she'd get in it. And then she said, yeah, I'm in. She never queried or, you know, she never hesitated. It was just within a couple of messages in a couple of minutes. And she was in. She, you know, she said, can you send me the booking link or the payment link? Um, and when can we get started? And the most recent, again, sort of um, had a sales call and you know, when they didn't, I don't even think, I mean, they asked the price obviously as a logical thing, like how much do we need to pay you? But it wasn't ever a question, like they wanted to work with me and they were in um, and the price was not a non-issue. Like they're the customers I want to, they're the clients that I want to be working with where I'm not having to persuade them. They're just ready to jump in and work with me. They see the offer, they know it's for them, they're aligned to it and they're in regardless. Like not regardless of the price, but that the price isn't the barrier to getting in. So hands up if you want to attract ready to buy customers or clients. Hands up in the comments. Secondly, what if you had a process to generate new leads for you even whilst you sleep? And I know this is something if you're in the coaching industry and you're following other coaches, I know you'll probably see this all the time and you're like, oh my God, I've seen this so many times. I'm not going to teach you all that today. I know that you probably have heard or watched webinars and seen things about how to generate leads um, in your sleep. You know, that's a regular often um, uh, system, but if it's not something you've seen before, then it's something that, you know, I share with my clients and is in this course in terms of how you have a sales funnel or at least a, a, a lead generating funnel to bring in new leads constantly and consistently. And then what if you had sales calls and inquiries consistently? So what if you not only had new leads, but you were constantly getting and when I say constantly or consistently, what I mean is to the extent that you want them. So maybe you want two, three, five, ten new leads a week, right? People that you can have conversations with. It might be that actually, well, actually, I just want one client a month. So I don't 
and if they're ready to buy i probably only need to speak to one or two people um so i don't need lots of leads but some of you will need a lot more leads than that um and you kind of want that consistently rianne's put her hands up in terms of i think that was probably um the first question on do you want to have ready to buy customers really really key so do, what, do, what would it feel like to have ready to buy customers a process that generates you leads even whilst you're sleeping and that brings in sales calls and inquiries consistently to your business how would it feel to have those things put that in the comments if like me you feel you want sorry if you want sales to feel aligned transparent open honest and um, then this successful sales formula is for you it's designed because i know as social entrepreneurs and as purpose-based business owners and as coaches and consultants operating in this space you know that your values and openness and transparency and honesty is essential people see through the pushy weird um manipulative sales strategies and that's not for us in this space this is about creating a sales process that's easy for you that doesn't feel icky and stressful but also actually just is easy for your clients so they know what they're getting they have a, can have a conversation with you if that's necessary to kind of clarify a few things but they are ready to buy they're in they um want to know where they can sign on the dotted line how they can pay and they want to get started with you okay so i just want to like when we're talking about alignment transparency openness honesty whatever values are important to you put some of those values in the comments as well like why how do you want to feel when you're selling how do you want to feel when you're attracting those clients and on conversations with them and um, i imagine that those ethics of transparency and honesty and openness also really matter for you too so here's some of the things here's some of the specific training like the specific things that i know make both the coaching industry but also sales calls really feel quite icky and um, and maybe you don't know these yet but these are the things that i think we really need to be able to shift and the things that are shifted in the new successful sales formula for coaches and consultants working in the social enterprise space so the first thing is offering free strategy calls when actually it's a sales call like you know it i know it we all know that if you're offering unless they're genuinely free like lots of people do genuinely offer free strategy calls brilliant that's fantastic it's a great way for people to get to know you and how you coach and what you do but there is a difference between offering a strategy session which actually has the intention of you creating a sale if you're not clear um, and open and honest about this it's the first place that you're creating that kind of icky feeling and it not transparent like if it's a sales call call it a sales call say that's what it is say that you're going to kind of tell people about your offers you're going to find out how you can support them like that's what it is that's the purpose of the call to see if they're a good fit for you whether they've got any questions and you can answer it so if it's a sales call name it as such the second thing is lots of people say to me they just don't like that bit in a sales call where they've had before of where they actually do the pitch or how to do the pitch or when do i say like this is the offer this is the price and that again that's one of the things is because you haven't actually set this call up as a sales call you haven't told people that that's the intention and purpose of the call that you're going to kind of not necessarily pitch to them but talk them through how you can help and resolve their situation their problem whatever so you're worrying about when to say that because you haven't clarified the intention and purpose of the call that's where the ickiness comes from makes sense the third one that people say to me is um you know and i've said this just previously but that they don't have you know oh well, what do i do when they say they don't have the money or how do i follow up with them and kind of encourage them if they say they need to go and check with a partner or they never come back to me and ghost me well the reality is as i said if they haven't got the money and they're not ready and they don't want to work with you then it's not a good fit and you've wasted time they've wasted time or maybe you've given loads of value and it's been really valuable to them but you've certainly wasted valuable time in your business giving loads of free advice for nothing in return um, which is why I think it's really good and important to get on sales call with ready to buy people rather than people that just want to get all your free content, which they can get probably in your Facebook group, on your Instagram page, from your website, etc. If you've got good stuff available anyway. The fourth thing then is um, you get really excited because somebody's booked a call with you, but they either don't show or they turn out not to be a good fit. 
And exactly the same. This is why getting on sales calls with people that aren't really committed, they're not invested, they don't really want to work with you. It's just kind of like, oh, that might be quite a useful thing to do. It's a waste of your time and energy kind of getting excited about those calls that never really happen or that just are completely pointless because they're really not a good fit because you've got no um, process of pre-qualifying people that are coming onto those calls, which is a key part of the success formula. And then finally, you're so <laughs> desperate for sales um, that you're so happy to just work with anybody. You work with people that really aren't a good fit, which often then leads to clients either not showing up, not getting the results because they're not actually doing the things that you're working and talking them through, or they pull out or they're not paying in full. So you really want to identify and work again with those people that are best fits, that are your dream clients that you're aligned to, who really want to get the results and who are really excited to work with you not just people who you're like, oh my goodness, they're going to pay me brilliant, fantastic, doesn't really matter who they are. Because they aren't the right fits for your business and they will become time wasters and actually cost you more even if they've paid some money up front. But the key here, guys, is if even if all of those things are real in your business right now, they don't have to be, and sales should actually absolutely be fun, it should be exciting when you secure a new client for you and for them you should feel aligned to them and not feel like you've manipulated them into buying or worried about whether they can pay their next payment. And, um, you know, you should just be able to go, brilliant, we've got new clients. I'm so excited to be working with you. This is how we set up. This is where we go. This is what we do next. OK, so this is how you change all that. So if you've got pen or paper, these are the things you need to be noting, noting down. This is part of the course that I'm sharing with you, but it's not all the course. I'm going to go through the course details in a minute and some of the other things you need to really get clear on if you want successful sales with clients every month. This is quite a short training, so this is the bit you really want to take notes on. But I will say as well, if you've got any questions, if you've got things that you're just not sure about, anything in your business, not necessarily the things that you're I'm sharing right now, obviously to do with sales and, and stuff, but... If there's things that I talk through now and you're still not sure about, then post some questions in the comments. That's brilliant. So first things first, we're making the change to recognise that if it's a sales call, we're open about that. And we're clear with those people that are booking on those calls that that's exactly the purpose of it, that you are at some point and throughout the call going to be sharing with them how you can actually help what they need help with. OK, whatever that is. The second thing is pre-qualifying those calls. So I and anybody that's booked a call with me, you will have seen that I do this in Calendly. I ask a few questions because often these calls can come out of the blue. Certainly for me, they're people that are very new to my community. They've just signed up maybe to a, for a free resource or they've literally just come across me or found my website and see the booking um, link and book a call with me so I don't necessarily know anything about them they're not always people that I've been chatting to or you know have had in my group for a while and stuff like that so it's really important to have these pre-qualifying questions in the booking system that they're booking in a call with you that way you already know in advance whether they're potentially a good fit and whether they're worth having a call with which I know this sounds really good, but you don't have to be having calls with every single person that books a call with you. You get to decide whether they're a good fit, whether they fall into the category for you as an ideal dream client. And you only can do that if you have some pre-qualifying questions. But you also, by doing pre-qualifying questions, have some background info about who they are, what the challenges are, what you might be able to help them with, which frames the way that you have the conversation on the call and means that you the time you spend with them is much more focused and you don't have to waste time with them introducing and giving their background to you because they've already done that in the booking process that's their time they've put that in to answering the questions and then you've got that before the call so you can have a quick read through you know a bit about them and then you can start asking them some questions specifically about those things so you can go a bit deeper and help them a little bit more on the call to show the value that you can give them um, and help in terms of you know, really understanding and answering their questions and what they want help with, both on the call, but through the coaching as well. So I hope that makes sense. Hi, Davey, thanks for watching. So the third thing is being upfront about your prices. So everyone who books a call knows exactly what the offers are and what their costs are, like what the price of those offers are. So I know for lots of people that you may have been told somewhere along your line that you don't need to put your prices out there. You know what? This is a personal choice and it's a decision. But for me, it doesn't feel it feels completely out of alignment 
to expect people to um, pay significant amounts of money for my offer. So my offer, as many of you know, is £3,950 um, for a 12-week coaching. Now, it doesn't just, it just doesn't feel right. Like, if I'm going to a coach, which I often do, and pay this kind of money to work with a coach, then I want to know what the price is, okay, before I engage in asking them questions, before I engage in a sales call, before I kind of want to find out anything else that's not on their sales page. I want to know the price, right? Because it makes a difference. Yes, I might be really aligned and like, this is the person I want to work with, but it does make a difference because I only have a certain amount of money that I'm willing and ready to invest. It makes a difference what that price is, right? So if the price isn't there and available for me to make that decision to then say, yeah, I'm going to inquire, I'm going to find out a bit more, I'm going to ask some questions, I'm going to see if this is really a good fit because the price is brilliant, like the price is what I want to invest. So it doesn't make sense then for me not to put my prices out there because that's what people want to know. It's just a fact, like if they're getting a service, they want to know what the price is. Um, so unless you're working with the few 1% of the world where they really don't care about the price, but then they probably still do care about the price, I don't think anybody doesn't care about the price of what they're going to purchase. Like it matters whether it's a million pounds, 10 million pounds, whatever. It still matters. They still want to know what it is. So I think not being upfront about your prices makes no sense unless you're trying to be uh, inauthentic or not transparent in some way. OK, it, it doesn't really make sense for me and my values. So that's why I'm sharing it here. Like I do think it's important that you're sharing the price, like unless anybody can give me a really good reason why they're not showing the price. So the fourth thing is only get people on sales calls who are ready to buy. We've talked about this. So again, by having those pre-qualifying questions, you can make that decision because the other thing that you're going to do in the pre-qualifying questions is have your offers, have the prices and ask them to tick which things they're interested in talking to you about. Makes sense, right? So anybody that signs up to have a call with me, I say, like, are you ready to invest and work with me at this level to do this or to do this or to join my, you know, for all the different levels. So you can work with me for £45 a month in my Thrive monthly membership where we do weekly group coaching all the way through my various programs and group courses up to working with me to for 12 weeks for one to one private coaching where I'm pretty much in your back pocket for the whole 12 weeks supporting you working through your mindset blocks and um, supporting you to grow and develop your business work through your business plan think about how you're generating your impact and income and um, so you know and that's from 45 pounds a month all the way through to 3950 pounds for 12 weeks so you can see there's a scale and there's an option and there's different people that will be you know inquiring about how they can work with me but I have that in the pre-qualification, so I know where they're, they're sort of interested, so I can position what my offer is on the call. I can talk about how that particular offer will really help them in the things that they're struggling with, etc. But if I don't do that, then I'm basically wasting mine and their time because I, they could be anybody and a completely mismatch. And then I'm giving them 20 to 30 minutes of my time where actually there's really very limited chance of them potentially becoming a customer because I haven't pre-qualified them as a ready to buy person. And the truth is, guys, if you've booked a call with me you will, and you will have said, I'm really not ready to invest at this time, then you probably will have received an email from me saying, thank you for, you know, um, booking a call at this time. I'm not, you know, I don't give away free sales calls and impact strategy sessions to people who aren't ready and ready to buy and join a program or work with me one-to-one -one. um but you can access all my free resources you can probably get an answer to the questions that you want in my in this group on instagram in on, by being on my mailing list and also i often give back some answers to the questions they've answered in the pre-qualifying um, questions to give them the value that they want but not to waste so much time on a call with them okay i hope that makes sense and so the final thing is that there's often in these sales calls no real pitch because they've already decided and indicated that they're interested. They're just really checking out whether you're a really perfect fit, whether you can actually really help them, maybe just answer a few questions in advance so they can get a bit of a feel for how you work. Um, and so you don't have to have this feeling of like, oh my goodness, when's the pitch coming? Or oh, it's, you know, and getting that horrible gut-wrenching feeling of like, oh, I'm at that point in the sales call and I need to pitch now. That doesn't really happen. But in this course, I have created an in 
uh, included the sales script that really guides you through the, the sort of process to go through the types of things to be focusing on the questions to be using so you've got it all else got it all in there sorry so then what else do you need with these other things well a really clear offer that speaks to a specific client's needs a process for attracting new leads regularly either through your mailing list or through your facebook group such as a freebie training webinar and that really shows off your expertise. It may be a way, you know, you also really need a way to nurture them and build trust. You need to have a process for actually booking a call with them or for them to apply or, you know, whatever the process is. Is it just, you know, the call to action? Is it to message you and say that they're interested in working with you? You just need to have that call to action, like the actual process for them to kind of find out more or actually book and, and, and you know, join a program, etc. So most of my group programs, for example, people just pay. Like they don't need to have a call with me, they just pay. My one-to-one, -one, I usually like to get on a call with them just to really understand, are they in the right place to work with me one-to-one? -one? Um, so yeah, so whatever that bit is. And then have your onboarding system ready. So for many coaches and consultants that I speak to, even though they haven't even had their first client, they say, well, I don't need to have my onboarding system ready. So the onboarding system is like, when people say, yes, yes, I wanna buy, I want in now, um, you need to have that set up. You need to really think through as if you're going to have those yeses, like what what's going to happen next? Because people want to get, if they've invested whatever amount, okay, anything from £100 upwards, people want to know what they're getting straight away. They want to start working with you as soon as possible, right? So you need to have that process so that, okay, the moment that they've said yes, what happens next? You know, do you have space for them right now? How do you get started? It, you know what the process do you send them an email and um, how do they do the payment what is there a contract to sign all of those things you need to think through in an onboarding system it's really key that you have that up and ready before you've even um, started getting clients because it really helps you to think through that process so it's simple for you simple for them and actually moves you closer to working with them quickly so Rianne's put really useful thanks I had my first person tip the pre-qualifier that they're not ready to invest this week i was so stuck as to what to do i felt too bad to say no so i did the call <laughs> head in hands no problem Rianne. like so i think it's really it's um i don't know did they become a customer because if they did then you did a brilliant sales call maybe you um were able to demonstrate how you can really help them but i think it's really about you know if you've got that pre-qualifying and if you're shifting to that pre-qualifying questions um that you then uh you can make the decision to have the calls if you feel like the questions that they're answering um, are, you know, you think, well, I can really help this person. But then it is a real question. If they are saying in this pre-qualification they are not ready to invest, why are you still deciding to go on that call? If it's because you feel bad, okay, this is what you do. You email them back and you say, thank you for answering those questions. Um, it's been really interesting to learn about you in whatever way that means for you as a coach. You've asked, you know, maybe they've, usually one of the pre-qualification qualifying questions is for you to better understand who they are, what they are, what they're struggling with. So respond to that thing, like give them some value, give them some um, support. So it might be a link to a training that you've done on that particular topic. It might be to a blog post that you've written. It might just be a paragraph of these, I think are your next steps. I do that quite regularly. You would be surprised how many people, you know, book a call with me who um, say they're not ready to invest and so I email them back and I give them loads of value I give them what they need to do in an email and um, so it's not that they're not getting it it's just that I'm not spending half an hour of my time with them on a call I'm doing it in about two to three minutes on an email okay so they're still getting the advice and if they then choose to implement it great if not they can and I also then include links to where they can go and find more information and support from me in my spaces, so in my Facebook group, on my Facebook business page, on my Instagram, they can sign up to my mailing list, all of those good things. So they're still getting loads of value, um, but you're, and you're still giving, you know, you still, I think, for me anyway, it shifts that feeling of, one, of feeling bad because I'm saying no to them. And also I explain why I'm saying no, that if I say, you know, and it's, it is about everybody, recognizing and valuing other people's time you valuing your time them valuing their time and your time like there isn't any real reason to get on a call with somebody if it's not going to convert into a sale 
unless you decide in your business, which is fine, then this program's not going to really be for you. But unless you decide you are just wanting to give away free sales or um, free strategy calls, which is fine, like people do that, that's fine. But then they're not sales calls, okay? If you want to give away advice for free, absolutely fine to do. But then it's not a sales call. Okay, or if it is, then you're going to feel that ickiness because people are going to be confused, but they're also not going to be like ready to buy. Um, and so that's where the disconnect comes in. So I hope that makes sense. I think I've kind of probably confused myself and others on that bit, but hopefully that is clear. So of those of you that are watching, does anybody have any further questions um, from what I've been through so far? I'm just going to have another drink. See any questions coming up at the moment. So if you do have any questions, just put those below. I'm going to go through now the successful sales formula course. So I've kind of been sharing some of the key points of the course, some of the things that are kind of built in. Obviously, there's a lot more detail. There's more tutorials. There's workbooks for each part of those. But I'm going to go through the five modules with you. It's a six week course. And um, like I said, it's £197. You don't have to get on a sales call with me. You can just book and be part of the course. Um, so the module one, so there's five modules. I think it, there's, I'm sorry, I think I'm the one that created it. I should know this. There's six weeks of, of the course. So we get an extra week at the end to kind of follow up and complete anything, etc. cetera. Um, you get two group coaching sessions with me, not weekly group session, sessions. So it's a six, it's a, oh, I can't get them all out. So five self-study modules with mini courses, tutorials, workbooks, etc. cetera. Um, you get two group coaching sessions with me because um, I want to be able to help you as much as possible. You can also um, uh, do a sort of VIP upsell in terms of working with me one-to-one -one, if that's really helpful, either on a one-off basis or if you need a couple of extra sessions, we can book those in as well. That's no problem. But for this course at 197, there's two group coaching sessions over the five, um, five module course. But there's also a Facebook group where I will answer any questions that you have coming up um, throughout the course. You can have obviously support each other, keep each other accountable in that course. Um, so, so that's what's included. But here's what's in the modules. Module one is having a really successful sales mindset. So really shifting some of those beliefs about what it is, what you can charge, overcoming your fears and doubts about selling. So you can get real confidence in what you're doing and having those daily practices to boost your mindset and know that you can reach 5k sales easily and get to 10k sales, that it's not an issue for you. OK. Hi, Heather. Thanks for watching. Module two is creating and having your signature offer. So you might already have your signature offer, um, but this is for those of you that don't maybe. And it's just about designing and getting really clear about what your offer is, who's it speaking to, who are your dream clients. Um, and what's the price that you need to put this at in order to reach those income goals that you've got. The third module then is how do I actually attract those dream clients, especially in my sleep cat? How do I do that? That sounds fantastic. So this module is really about how to find, attract and nurture your dream clients, those that are ready to work with you. So you don't need to be persuading them or implementing pushing sales tactics to join your programs or one-to-one -one coaching that they find you, you're nurturing them through your free content um, or your email system, email funnel and that, you know, when they're ready, they're ready to buy with you and they just book a call and then or book one of your programs. OK. Module four is the sales funnel. So what actually goes into the sales process of that? So when they are ready, so everything from, um, you know, uh, booking the call, the process, what how to kind of create those craft, those questions on the pre-qualifiers, what to do when you when clients say they're not ready to invest in that email to so having that draft email, how to sort of um, draft that out and like put your own stamp on it. So you've got that copy there, how to actually get on a call and the process to go through that call. And and the sales script in there as well that secures sales pretty much consistently. And then you always have clients that just aren't ready, you know, that they, they say they're ready, but they're actually they're not or they're just not the right fit. And you say that you don't want to work with them. And that's absolutely fine, too. And then module five is really going to the next level and increasing your reach and visibility. So once you've got to that first step and you've got all the processes and systems in place, really leveling up and getting seen and heard by more of your dream clients than ever before so that you can start leveraging your time with group programs and courses as well. 
but it, you know even if not it's really about the reach and visibility so increasing your reach and visibility so that you can you know more people are coming to you or more of your dream clients are coming to you more consistently and regularly so hands up if anybody's interested in that i'm not going to commit you to it i'm just interested in those people on the course or if you're watching the replay if that's of interest i can reshare the link in here in the comments bear with me one second while i do that and then you can oops a daisy see that and you can go and check it out um we will be starting next week so there's a few days left for you to get involved You'll have a bit of time next week if you're kind of on the fence and you want to decide next week. But if you are on the fence and you've got questions about you want to find out more, once you've had a look at the sales page, then let me know. If you've got any questions now, I'd be happy to answer them. Or if you've just got any questions about the sales process, you don't have to necessarily come on the course. But if you've got a question now, this is the time to ask me um, to terms of increasing your sales, challenges that you're having with clients and um, what you're trying to achieve, etc. Any questions that you want to write or if you're watching the replay as well. And that's it really guys so hopefully that's been really useful um really really excited about launching this successful sales formula because it's something that i've been having and developing and using with sort of one-to-one -one clients for a while and i knew i wanted to put it out there as an offer and as a course and a group program at a really really great price for people to access and um, so i'm really pleased that it's coming out now and that you'll get it or you'll get access to it um so yeah if it's of interest and um, maybe you've got other people that you want to kind of share it with that'd be brilliant um, and if you've got any questions about it, just let me know. I don't think there's any questions coming up. There is a bit of a delay, which is why I'm kind of filling time. I'll just wait a little bit longer. But if not, thanks so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful um, and we'll catch up soon. Tomorrow's training is at nine and it's all about how to transform your social enterprise. So if you are a social entrepreneur um, in a different area, different field, nothing to do with coaching and consulting, then tomorrow's um, training is going to be a bit more in depth bit more detailed hopefully a bit um, more useful than this one which is obviously specifically for coaches and cult consultants so i don't see any more questions guys so i hope you have a brilliant day and we'll catch up soon speak soon